Oh, it's scary up here. What is up, fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure with your boy Omar. I got my friend James, the fam, with us today. And hey, we had a fam of ours reach out to us and wanted us to investigate their house. I guess they had bought this house, they lived in it as a child, and they started renovating it, and they decided not to move into it because this house is so haunted. Now, it's in really bad shape, that's why I'm wearing this mask. He said that he has brought people here that didn't believe in the paranormal, and they were so convinced afterwards. He told me that within 10 minutes, if I don't see something that convinces me that this house is haunted, that you could call him a crazy man. Now this house isn't that big. There's not a lot to explore here. And that's what, what was that? All right, that didn't take long. But we are gonna do a uncut video. James is also gonna do this. We're gonna split up in the house. We're gonna be really quiet too. Please let us know if you hear or see anything. We are in Massachusetts, by the way, and you could see that's probably why the paint is peeling. I mean, Massachusetts, if you didn't know, we do get some cold winters up here. Hope you're ready for this adventure. Let's do this. James, well, the only cuts that you've seen were on my intro and maybe some of that B-roll. But from now on, there's not gonna be one cut unless I happen to, you know, run out of battery or, I know my camera only allows me to film for about, I think 25 minutes. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, probably a longer video. A lot of you have been asking me to do a no cut, no edit type video. So that's what we got here. And if you do enjoy this type of video, let me know in the comments. But yeah, we got this beautiful fireplace here. I'm not gonna really say a whole lot. It's like a Florida land. Hey James, how long did he say this has been uh, like abandoned again? Um, they said it was like at least 10 years ago. 10 years? This looks so well, much worse. Almost looks like 10 years. Was, uh, what they said was they had it 10 years ago and they were going to uh, remodel it or something. And basically the, the, the things that were happening here scared them so much. The workers that they hired to come work in here. I did hear that. They work in here. And then they came in here to try to notice stuff. And they started noticing crazy things. And they lost a lot of money. It really hurt their family. But they said for their family safety, and this is what she remembers, that for their family safety, they decided to take a loss and to get the heck out of here. So wow. she's always wondered whatever happened to this place and what the real deal with this place is. So hopefully we can find out. That's why we're here. You can see they started doing some plumbing work and maybe some of the yeah, some of the remodeling. You might see some of that here. I've never been in here before. It's not? Wow, that's a really nice built in there. I like that. Guess James is going to the basement. Let's go check out upstairs. Oh, it has an attic. Cool. Sounded like there was somebody behind me on the stairs. Oh, 
Well, maybe I'm crazy. And you can see evidence of workers working here for sure. Yeah. No. Dude, there's something that went up the stairs behind me. Yeah, there's something definitely here. Alright. I don't know if you know this about me, but... I mean, if you do have a haunted house that you want me to take a look at, I mean, reach out to me, let me know. I'll make a video, I'll do an investigation. But, yeah, this place, definitely something here. But, I mean, sometimes these things take time, you know, like you have to spend a lot of time in a place. I don't think, I, I've only been maybe in like three or, I don't know, I have to say at least five places where like from the start there was some something there you know what I mean and there's been some places where they are considered like the most haunted place in the world and I didn't see anything you know yeah, they were doing some plumbing work for sure See if this is oh, it looks like they filled this in with oh, okay, that's mortar. Must have been like a I don't know, like a shower pan there or something. I heard some stomping too. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't you? Uh, no, it's in the basement, dude. I heard something above me. Yo, don't even play. You were live. You were. It's almost like we're live. It is just like we're live, and that's just cool. You're live, and I'm live. Yeah. You know what would be kind of nice for you guys to do if you want? That way you know we're not BSing you. As soon as like we, you know, push play, not push play, but. When we say that, like, you know, hey, this is, because obviously we had the intro, we had some B-roll shots, and right when we said we are not doing any edits, maybe watch the videos side by side. Mm, like, you know what I mean? So it, you're getting kind of like, I don't know, it's almost like a like a live preview of, of each scene. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you could do that. I don't know. You could probably, you could only listen to one of us at once, but this place is cool, though. Isn't there something creepy about closets? Holy sh! Okay, all right, that kind of freaked me out. I thought there was like another shadow right there. Is it another shadow? No, that's my shadow. Dude, I can see another shadow within my shadow. Fourteen. 
Dude, something like fell from up here. Oh, that's probably what happened. What? So like I heard like a, I don't know, it's like something got thrown at me or something. Really? Or maybe, I, I don't know if it got thrown at me or maybe it fell from somewhere. You know, I don't know if it was downstairs or, I'm pretty sure it was this. Maybe it was that. I'm thinking maybe it fell from up here. No. Look, check this out, bro. There's an attic. Good? Yeah. That is scary. Oh, yeah. Dude, you gonna go up there? Uh, I don't know if it's safe. Safe is not in my Oh, sorry. My fault. Oh, here, hold my camera real quick. Yeah, we have tools. I'll go. Sure. I need a lot of noise too. Oh, that's good light. Hope this is safe. Did they mention anything about the attic? Uh, not that I remember now. Alright. Attics ah. freak me out. And basements. Did you go in the basement? Yeah. What was it like? That's what I'm telling you. I heard those footsteps right above me when I was in there. I heard footsteps too, dude. I swear I did. Mm. I thought it was you. It wasn't you. Dude, look, my camera just turned off. Oh no. What the hell? Maybe you could only record up to like 10 or 15 oh, minutes. Look, look, look at my camera. It says you can only do 10 minutes. Oh, you could do 10 minutes. Okay, so. I wonder so. if I can change that. Alright, guys, so there was one stop. We didn't move anywhere. Alright. But apparently I can only put 10 minutes. You guys were witnesses of that. There's a way to change that on my cell phone. And Omar just caught that on camera. But I only had 10 minutes. So. Yo. Yeah. This place is cool up here. Can you get up there? Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's scary up here. Mm. What? Oh no! Did you move this? No, I'm over here. Oh, I'm not going up there. Dude, something just pushed me, dude. Really? Yeah. Something pushed me. Something tried to push me off these stairs. Maybe something doesn't want you to go up there. You know what that makes me want to do? Don't do it, bro. I just want to look up there. I'm not going to go up there. Just be careful. Let me know if... I don't know, maybe I missed something up there. Something doesn't want me up there. I wonder what the history on like this house is. This is like a whole other room up here. Oh. Well. Let's close that up. Yeah? Yeah. You gotta push it. Well, you gotta... Alright. Oh, this after all these years, that still works, dude. Alright. Alright, you wanna check out the basement? Um, I don't know. Yeah. I'll go with you if you want me to. Yeah, let's we'll check it out. This must have been like a master bedroom. Yeah, this is the bathroom. What bathroom closet? That's cool medicine cabinets. What is that? Man, they filled this floor up with like concrete. Yeah, it is.
That's the feeling I got up in the attic. I almost like lost my balance when I was on that ladder and it, before I lost my balance I felt like it was like a force. It was like it didn't want me on that ladder or something. I legit felt like I like a what was that? Hey, you? No? What happened? I don't know, I didn't see anything. I just heard it. I thought it was you. I, I mean, it could be that. This is an old house. I mean, you're going to hear a lot of things. But. I mean, it is a haunted house. Bro, do me a favor. Like, let's just be quiet for like five minutes. Okay. To see if like something wants to communicate with us. Just walked right into it right now. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> oh, man. As soon as he said that, I got a whiff. What is this? Is this like the kitchen or something? No, this is the kitchen. Not really big, but. Oh, this is the smallest kitchen ever. to see this house like the way it was. Definitely makes a lot of noise. I haven't seen anything too crazy. Now you may be wondering like what makes a house haunted? Now the real popular like most popular paranormal investigators one of my favorite paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Lauren they said that out of, I think it's, it's a very high percentage, 80% or 85% of hauntings that they would investigate had to do with the Ouija board. This is why I do not play with Ouija boards. I mean, I've had them in my videos, I've burned them before, I've maybe documented a few of them, but, but I do not play with Ouija boards. That's coming from some old school paranormal investigators. I mean, they've made movies. That's where the movie The Conjuring came from. True story. Let's check out the basement. You gonna come with me? Oh, this doesn't feel safe. No, it's like squishy. Oh look, here's the garage. Huh? Yeah, there's a garage over there. Wow, look at that. Oh. There's a mosquito right there. Heap mosquitoes. Get out of here. James talks so damn much. James, shut up. All I hear is you talking. All I hear is you talking. You're ending it already, bro? This is the worst time to end it. Okay, sorry. So, that's why James is talking off. Wow, it's really cold down here. Most basements are. It's because like heat rises, you know. I feel bad for kind of being mean to James right now. He talks a lot. That's all you hear. I want to hear the spirits. I want to hear James right now. Okay. 
just want silence for a little bit. Really not much. Oh, cool. It's a little utility area. A little tool room. couple different things you have to worry about when you come to like old places especially old abandoned places and one of them is this right here like if you mess with that dust that's that's asbestos and what makes asbestos so bad you may have may have not heard about it but the dust of it has these little hooks that get in your lungs and I mean you could you could have a like mesothelioma I, I think that's one of them don't quote me on that I know lung cancer for sure but another thing is too, and I learned this in real estate school, most houses, or a lot of houses built before 1978 had lead-based paint. And you could get lead poisoning from lead-based paint. From the dust particles, I mean, you're not gonna put a piece of paint in your mouth. You know, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna grab this piece right here and eat it. Yeah, that'd be, Bad. That's that's probably lead-based paint, by the way. God, I don't know if that was James upstairs. Yeah, I mean, those are like the main things. I mean, of course, there's holes in the ground and rusty nails. I mean, you could definitely get a tetanus shot. I've been cut by rusty nails before. Not fun. What you doing? Huh? Wait, hey, you? you done recording? Yeah, you might. What do you think of this place? It's cool. I mean, it's a cool place and I definitely have a bad vibe here and I've heard some crazy things. I haven't seen anything, but I heard stuff. Plus, they might find stuff that we never even saw. Yeah, I mean, we didn't see any like figures or anything like that. I definitely heard stuff and I felt stuff. I mean, it's very... Now, every place is different. Every haunted place is different. Sometimes you'll hear things and that's it. Sometimes you'll see things and that's it. Sometimes you'll see both and hear things. And then sometimes you'll feel things. Like today, I felt something try to push me off those attic stairs. And that was scary. Like I, I like lost my balance for a second. This is cool. So hey, I'm going to start ending this video, reason being is because I don't want to break the whole, you know, um, no cut thing. And I know my camera will cut off around 24 or 25 minutes and I don't want to chance it. But yo, make sure to check out James's channel, link will be in the description. Also, if you want a personalized shout out, I have a link in the description, like maybe you have you know, a friend of yours or a sister or mom or you know, whoever, somebody you love that wants like a special shout out. I have this special service and I do just that. I do like little mini shout outs. They're personalized, pretty cool stuff. Link will be down below. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to my friends and let them know what, what they already know, but they told me, hey, this place would be cool to make a video. I definitely feel them. I wanna come back here again, maybe at nighttime. I might have to make a special trip out here where we weren't staying long in Massachusetts. So yeah, this is uh, definitely gonna be a fun video to do at night. If you wanna see something like that, let us know. But I gotta go for now. Before you leave, give me a kiss. Peace.